Hey guys, this is Nathan Mann, your host of Beards and Bows Outdoors. This is the 1648 project. And last time you seen it, it didn't look so good. I threw the super slick on the very bottom of here, and then I did the Alumahawk paint, and then I camoed it up with red leg stencils. If you want to learn about that, I'll leave a timestamp in this video. I have multiple boat videos. Stay tuned for this one, that pontoon in the background. Let's get going. I got the 1648 flipped over. I'm gonna flat disc, wire wheel these, epoxy around the rivets, just like I did my 1436 boat. I am using a Harbor Freight flat disc on my four and a half inch grinder. This is 80 grit, rips this stuff right off. You can imagine what would have caused that. I'll just leave it at that. That'll get fixed. Cut some grooves in this to help this JB Weld Marine Weld. We're gonna squeeze some of this out. Comes in two parts here. Stir it up. Now I've already sanded this down once and then I re-epoxied over it again. I'll sand it once more and it'll be done. On this side, I just filled in the hole for some uh, extra support. That way when you push on it, it doesn't flex or anything. So that just needs sanded. And then when I epoxy the rivets, I'll just throw a little bit over that and it, it'll be good to go. Take an old t-shirt. Clean it up. I went with the trowel method versus paintbrush or roller. It worked out really well, it helped to push it around. Guys, I stopped right there. I did the bottom only. Look how it settles settles in around the rivets that's what i want now we'll let this cure for a few days and wait for the alumahawk paint to come in it's time for the alumahawk i sanded this down wiped it down once now i'm going to etch it with some white vinegar wipe that down and then i'm gonna wipe it down with acetone we're gonna start painting first coat on the back Red Lake Camo. This is the Timber HD. Stencils came in. I watched a couple videos on this. I made my own stencils on the last boat, so uh, I'm kind of familiar with the process. I can't wait to get this going. And of course, I got a sticker for the cooler. These came with two stencils each. Two large ones and two smaller ones like this. This is like a normal size sheet of paper. Well, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to figure out which orientation I want to run this. So I'm going to do a couple uh, test patterns and see what I think looks good. You have this. Or you have this. All right, the registration numbers came in. These are American flag. Gonna start with the transom first.
start putting up some rails. This is gonna be decking back here. That's gonna be big decking up here. Two live wells, looking good. So plans for the top is these I need to sand down. I need to sand this down, paint the top camo. But inside the boat, I'm just going with a, a simple spray paint job, not even camo because the majority of the top of this boat, the only camo you will see are these and the top rail. Other than that, it's getting covered with decking, hydro turf, and even the sides are getting uh, sheeted with paneling. Hi y'all, I have a full build series on this boat. We'll have a full build series on this boat, but look at the size difference. I don't know how well you can see that, but huge difference. 1436, 1648. Beards and bows out.